Hey guys, what's going on? We're about to head to the Oki Homestead Meetup down there in Pryor, Oklahoma. And I'm bringing a friend with me. You guys ready for this epic road trip video clip? It's coming your way. Yeah, we weren't gonna boring you with the car drive and everybody, everybody car drives everywhere. They show that footage, we weren't gonna, we spared you. So we're actually here right now. And the parking lot, she's getting a little full. How many people think you're gonna be here today? I don't know, like 500. 500? I'm thinking a thousand. I'm thinking a thousand. Maybe I might even go. Yeah, I'm gonna say a thousand people are gonna be here today. Let's get inside and see what we're expecting here. I have no idea what's all entailed. I saw the little list of what could be. We'll see. Let's go inside. He was like, yeah, it's just all gravel. It's all gravel. Yeah, there's, there's a little muddy. Just a little bit. Here, let's hopscotch over this right here. Yep. Boop. We wind up bringing our mud shoes. We thought we were going to be in a muddy mess, so. Oh, look at this. Looks like they got a few things set up already. Looks like they got chickies. What, what's that? It looks like they're going to be having chickies. Yeah. Whatever it is, looks like it's gonna be interesting. I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't know. I don't even know where to go. Let's, let's just explore for a little bit. And right. See, and see what there is. This event is totally unorganized. I have nothing. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing right now. I don't even know what to do with my hands. <laughs> I'm not sure what to do with my hands. Uh, it'd be good just to hold them down by okay. your side. Yeah, great. Let's see what's going on in there. How do what? we get inside? Is the question. Where do we? I don't know. There's no signs anywhere. Well, we'll just we'll just experiment and like walk into different places. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you one thing, it smells pretty good. Yeah. So smells. I think we're gonna eat good. Yeah. Well, this one says East Entry, so let's. Wait a minute. You don't have any cigarettes or guns on you, do you? No promises. All right. Oh, let's go in here. There's people in here. So they're actually starting their pork cutting seminar and I'm trying to get a close up for you guys. Yesterday we broke out a pig right here and many of you were part of that. Uh, the day before we killed the pig at a local farm, Walker Farm. Um, and yesterday Andy had a knife in his hand and did the butchering while I had a mic in my hand and did the commentary. Uh, or commentary. So Andy is to loosen up his tongue a little bit. He has to talk in a couple days. Mm -hmm. So we'll give him some grace. Uh, in the meantime, uh, I've done, and this is Andy, we're a hand food farm. Um, part of what we do, some of you may know, uh, we do not have a, a large uh, YouTube presence, um, except on other people's YouTube channels, because we do travel around to other farms to do this. Um, but we teach people how to humanely kill uh, and butcher animals, farm animals, and then turn them into yummy food. Um, Specifically pigs, because pigs lend themselves really uh, well to curing, um, and, uh, and that's what today's discussion is going to be about. It's going well, that was a great, great little seminar on how to, you know, cure your hams and pork, which they went over a lot of great interesting things like, oh, yep, they got sheep. A lot of great interesting things about nitrates and different kinds of salts and what to use on what kind of products that you're going to be curing and salting. So very very informative uh i will post a link and hopefully they have that seminar on their channel down there and you guys can watch the whole thing because it's pretty lengthy and there was a lot of great questions from a lot of great people so let's go check out the rest and see uh i think we see some sheep and autumn she wants to see sheep hey that llama doesn't have any red pajamas Look at him. He's you think like, that's Thomas the turkey? You see him? He's like, oh. He's flexing, huh? He's like, oh, look at You're me. You're flexing. Yeah. <laughs> it's my best turkey impression. Well, there's a donkey over there. Yeah. 
Or Autumn, there's a donkey right here. There's a donkey. There's a donkey. We want to get a donkey so bad. That's a big sheep. Oh, yeah, it's a good looking boy right there. Good looking boy. Yeah. For the wife back home, here's your donkey. <laughs> Oh, I love his mohawk. <laughs> you love his mohawk? <laughs> Give him a guitar. Right? We can make money off of this dude. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, llama? Where's your red pajamas? He's like, excuse me? <laughs> I wear gold pajamas, not red Llama, ones. llama, red pajama. Don't you remember that story? I, I remember that story. We that storybook? That. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Good morning. You like it? I am. I want to see how heavy one of these are. Not at all. How easy is it to move? Give it a shot? Yes, sir. Pick it up and move it all around. Oh, that's not bad. That means... Oh, that means making it out of wood. Yeah. Now I hear that you guys, this is about three grand? Yes, sir. Three grand? But it comes as a kit with everything you see inside here. Wow. Nest box, roost bars, feed and water kit, everything. Oh, nice. So not only can you use this for meat birds, you can also use it for just raising your chickens and free ranging them out through your yard. Keep them safe from predators? Yes. Nice right. smooth edges so you don't work through your fabric? Yep. <laughs> Double welded by the Amish off grid. What's that? Double welded by the Amish off grid. Oh, okay. Where are you guys looking at? Northeast of Kansas City. Northeast of Kansas Missouri. All right, so I'm in the Omaha area. How far away is that? Hey, how far are you from Omaha? Might be worth the drive. What's the shipping on one of these? <laughs> right now, between three hundred and fifty and seven hundred dollars, depending on where we have to go. And they come pre-assembled, or you have to assemble them. If you wanted to assemble, you had to pay me one hundred and fifty extra dollars. No, the kit price is for you to go home and assemble. <laughs> Sounds fair. Nice meeting you. Hey, I'm Thank Greg, man. Nice to meet you. All right, man. That is pretty cool. That that thing was super lightweight. I mean, if you were, if you were just, I don't know, if you wanted to get in that, didn't have a lot of like, like I'm a big guy, I could pick that up. I don't, you don't have to be big. I think a, a child, ten year old child could pick that, and move it around easy, and that was the biggest one they offer. Oh, you're already looking at the jewelry, huh? Yeah, this is dirt is my makeup, leather is my perfume. Oh, that's a great scene. <laughs> You need to pay attention to this stuff because you need to start taking care of goats. What do you think? Um, and even then, sometimes nope. Nope. you still have that one goat. I swear I should never have named for Diva. And then run the goat's it over not your thing. a board and then yank it so that she can kind of leg back like that. Right, let's go I'm somewhere three legs. Else. Yes, this Diva right, is still strong. But it's enough that I can get one inflator on and hold it there and get that milk out of her. And she was like that the entire lactate. No matter so where no you go, shit. you'll see Hat Creek Homestead oh. all the time. <laughs> What's that, sweetie? You hear it, Dad? She's for sale. <laughs> She's for sale. I don't think we're going to be able to bring a goat home um, anyways, in the car. I don't think so it'll work out very well. You know what's really nice is the fact that this is all like kind of indoors. Obviously typical fairground stuff, but concrete. It ran like cats and dogs the other day. This is nice. Let's uh let's go see what else is going on. Let's go find some people. I know you're just having a blast. I can see all the animals. You wanna go see the animals again, don't you? Yeah. All right, well, let's go see the animals again. You gotta have a little fun too, guys, huh? He's gonna spit. He's gonna spit. You're gonna do it. Find out which victim. Yep. Who's gonna be? Who's gonna be that guy? 
Oh, no, not that guy. Definitely not that guy. He's getting the good scratches. He likes you, Dad. He's like, oh, yeah. Maybe it's Maybelline. He likes you, Daddy. I scratch my dog's head all the time. Yeah. We'd get llamas, but I just don't like to cut their feet. Oh my God. They're hoes that they, they get spunky. Oh, he is soft too. All right, let's go. Let's go check out the horse rack ride. Which one you getting on, man? All right. Which one are you gonna ride? <laughs> I think I'm too old for this because when we went to um, Ballas, it, I was too old for it. Yeah, those horses were tired, tired little miniature ponies. That that big horse right there, you could you could ride those horses. You'll okay. be fine. We'll leave it up to him. He'll know. Okay. Either way, we're gonna get you on a horse. I love horses. <laughs> I want them so bad. Yeah. They're so cute. I want to be. I want. I want the blonde ones. You I want... love the blonde ones. They're yes. So cute. I like the ones that have like the hair on the on the side, and they're like. <laughs> <laughs> like imagine if St. Bernard were like fully black. Check out these fences. Doing good. Last fall. Don't touch. Up. Now don't touch any of the fence because I don't know what's on and what's not. So. But we're thinking about getting some pig fencing. So hog net, pig fencing. All different kinds of brands here. Or all different kinds of styles. So I own a pair of pork that you guys are fencing already. And the biggest problem I have is picking it up. Okay. Like, do you guys make anything that helps you? Otherwise, I got my arms Arm, and, arms full, and, yeah. and you're bundling it. So what I like, I just kind of stick it on top of my hip here. Okay. And I just use that as a little bit of leverage, and then I'll have uh, have the rest in my hand. So you gather. bundle it up and then put it on your hip, huh? More or less. All yeah. right. Or as I'm picking it up, this this end post will go in here, not the spike, because that'll hurt otherwise. So just stick that in and then walk along and just kind of use that oh, to hold it on. Oh, see, I'm trying to hold it all out here and fork yep. it through my arms and kind of like use it as a yeah I'm so wondering. that post comes out goes in my hand then i walk to the next i'll grab that pick it in that way it's just kind of on me all right yeah so it's not my whole arm supporting it yeah because i thought about buying just smaller sections so they're more manageable yep. but they're more expensive in the smaller sections it seems <laughs> yeah why is that on a per foot basis it costs, yeah I was hoping you guys had like, yeah, we're coming out with this new contraction that you put here and you're able to manage a hundred feet rolls like with ease or something, but pretty easy. <laughs> right? Can't make, I can't make it too easy. Right? All right, thank you. All right, thank you. <laughs> All right, you want some chow? Pepperoni pizza casserole. What do you think? It's actually good. It's actually good? You want to order? Order some. Let's get a kid. Let's get a kid size of that. Hi. She's sold. <laughs> you can't beat it. I mean, it tastes just like meat pizza. There you go. <laughs> Without the carbs too. Sweet. And we know how she loves it's, her carbs. Carbs. So that's super impressive. It's keto and gluten friendly and vegetarian. Exactly. I got a cow. There's this guy. Oh, look at that. <laughs> So how many Sunny Slope shirts have you seen walking around? None. Man, you need to try hard. I know, right? <laughs> Just one. Oh, Just this man. guy. Oh, yeah. Hey, That's there. it. Woo! The one and only. One and only. You got to make them rare and hard to find. <laughs> That's how they build value. <laughs> See, I, I got the exact opposite philosophy. I just flood the market. Just flood the out. market. <laughs> Well, apparently that's how advertising works a little better. <laughs> I'm trying to do the supply There's and demand. The shirt right there. See the gray one right there? The kid with the green hat? Ridge line. Oh, so man. <laughs> what the heck? Where, why aren't you on top of this? I don't have my shirt. You're, I'm putting you in charge of marketing. <laughs> You've right. got the ideas, okay? All right, but all the money we make is going to me. <laughs> See, she said go Ridge Line. Go Ridge Line. There's that Ridge Line. See, two in a row. One and another one. That's the two same guy, him. Tim. Two in a row. No, it's behind him. See there? Oh, that's cheating. They're at the <laughs> They're waving at you. That's cheating. He's, I think he's got it rigged, guys. I think he's got it rigged. 
You need to make more or just throw All right, now I gotta go to the hotel, get my change of shirt, and I'm just gonna be putting this on you know random what? people. Here's $10, where I'm are my a, shirt? I may have a Ridge Life shirt for you in the hotel I can give you. Any there you go, this guy is working the advertisement. <laughs> You know what? I don't see Ridge Life shirts on these folks. They had them yesterday. You did. Yeah. <laughs> did. Hey, go Ridge Life. Go Ridge Life. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, whoa now. We need to go get these guys. Little thinking. Viking warrior. I'm going to be watching you. I know. You're rowdy. Ah. Son, I swear, you're going to be, I, I'm going to, I'm quickly Is that a deer regretting. deer or a horse? That's a deer. I got a cow. Deer. You got a cow? Yeah. It's a deer. A deer and a unicorn. You see me fly? I like the unicorn. You see me fly the drone over again a while ago? I didn't. I wanted to, the lines were like all the way. Oh, no, There's food I like truck the lines, so I flew over to see the lines. Oh, man. The food truck line was all the way to the building. And there's way more cars here now than there were, was earlier. I mean, it's the whole. How many yeah. people do you think? 1,100. 1,100, that's what we're thinking. We're thinking about 1,000 people. I was thinking like 500, I'll let you know. So we started out, we were thinking maybe a thousand people would, would be here. It's I was going to say 2,000. I was like, well, 2,000 is a lot, a lot of people. There's so many people over there. And you know, there's all the crafts and stuff in there. And then, of course, yeah. you got a seminar going on over here. And all the, 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 the petting zoo. And, yeah, there's that's really good. a ton of stuff. Yeah. If they do this every year, I can only imagine how big it's going to get. Dutch said they were doing it every year. Every year? Well, we'll be down here every this year then. the first annual. I'm coming oh, I bet you! I bet you the next one will be down in Sulphur, Oklahoma. That's a perfect venue and if, for it, though. And if we're going all the way down there, we're driving through to Texas. Gonna go back to Texas. Texas, what? <laughs> can't get enough of it. She's having a blast. It was actually last minute plans for her to come down when I was leaving. Uh, I stopped in her bedroom to say goodbye and she, she seemed kind of sad. I was like, you want to go with me? She's like, like, pack your bags. Let's go. So it's kind of father, son, father, son, father and daughter trip that uh, that wasn't really planned. So it's kind of been kind of been fun. She's keeping a lot of good company, but she is uh, she's having a blast. And I, I think I might have her addicted watching some of these channels down here too. So I appreciate you guys watching. Sorry if it was kind of a funny video, but there's just so much going on. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Thanks for watching. On today. Uh, awesome. Awesome. <laughs> it was so fun. Um, we got to pet animals, and um, I got to hold a bunch of bunnies. Um, I had to help a girl. Well, I had to help a bunny off of the llama because the llama was standing up and the bunny was just chilling on him yeah and there's like a woman like that, that was like can, can someone help the bunny can, can someone help the bunny so. <laughs>